Alright guys, how's it going? Welcome back to the latest episode of The Cobbler Save. Uh, now since I last left you, it's only been three months I think, since I last left you. I wanted to get an update out just to show you how much of a good run we're on at the minute. Um, I didn't really want to carry on through the tough period we've got because we've been doing really well lately. We've been picking up some really good results. We've been on a good run of form since we last left. I didn't want to come in after this little run of games that we've got and show you that we're back down where we are. I thought I'd show you now while we're, uh, while we're doing quite well. So if I show you the table, uh, you'll see that we're sixth in the league. What has happened here? I mean, we've been, we've been on some really good form and you know, that just shows how close the league is. We've also got a game in hand over Everton who we could go joint on points with too. So we could go up to fifth, which is a Europa League position, I believe. I don't really know Premier League um, rules and stuff because I've never really managed here. But yeah, we could go up into the Europa League spaces, which would be incredible. So let me go through the uh, fixtures since I last left you. Sunderland was the last game that we played just before I recorded the update. We then drew two all with West Ham away in the cup. It was Igor and uh, Mohana with the goals. We beat Norwich 3-2. We beat West Ham in the replay, which is the first game in our new redeveloped stadium at Six Fields. 12,500 people there. We beat Arsenal away 1-0. Mora with the goal. Uh, we went down to 10 men, but we hung on. Drew one all with Crystal Palace, scoring quite late on, which was good. Beat Everton in the next round of the FA Cup. We then beat West Ham 4-0 in the league this time, where Mohara, Asuji, Atto and Nabe got on the score sheet. Beat Fulham 5-3, Asuji with a hat-trick and Fraser with two. We then drew away at Chelsea, where Musonda scored in the 91st minute to take it to a replay, which I was obviously quite disappointed with. We beat Tottenham 1-0 with Nabe scoring in the first minute and we held on there. And then we beat Stoke away 3-0 in the final league game that we played. And then lost 3-1 away uh, home to Chelsea with Atto the score for us. But we were probably already out of the game by then. So yeah, we're, we're up to 6th which is just incredible considering we've just come up. I will take that uh, every day of the week. So I'm going to probably wrap the episode up here quite quickly. I don't think we've got any other transfers to show you mm. don't think so I think you've seen them all yeah you've seen them all so far but it was just a really quick episode just to let you know how well we're doing we've really turned our season around I asked for predictions uh, as to where you think we'll finish third age I see where you said 20th we won't be finishing 20th which is a relief. We'll be in the Premier League for another year, which I think is the biggest achievement that we could have uh, accomplished this year. We're going to be staying in the Premier League, which is going to give us a lot of money to play with next year. We can improve the squad and hopefully kick on again next year. Hopefully we don't get second season syndrome and hopefully we can, can stay up again next year. So thank you very much for watching. Sorry it's a short episode. Be sure to watch the FM League video that goes up tomorrow. It's my first game against second year Lacard, who's Matt. Uh, so yeah, six o'clock I believe it goes up. So be tuned in for that and I'll see you all soon. Peace.